Well, Celtic's been my life, and it's something maybe that you take for granted at times and going to the games every single week, home and away. Throughout the hard times in your life, Celtic's always been there. Um, so to have that suddenly taken away during the pandemic, and I think at the beginning you thought, well, it'll only be maybe a couple of games or whatever, but over a year down the line now, and we're still in this. But I think when everybody gets back to Celtic Park, everybody's going to appreciate it a lot more now than they did back then. The banter with your friends and, and meeting up the rain, and it's all good, you know what I mean, for your mental health, and it's all good, it's stuff that you look forward to every week. And so for not to have it there for, a, for this amount of time, it's, it's really difficult, and it's, it's not just a way of life at times, it is your life. It's something I've done three times a week for the last 20, 20 odd years, and the social element as well, and the amount of amazing people that I've met through Celtic and I've stayed friends with them for a long, long time, and even people that I've met in America at Celtic conventions, and you meet them here and you're thinking, wow, you know, it's just like, it's a, a worldwide thing. I sit in the Jockstein Upper, quite high up, so I've been mean, loads of memories from there because of my vantage point, the Henry Larson chip in the 6 2 game. Um, I can see it in my head at the moment, and then Bailey scored an overhead kick against uh, Man City a couple of seasons ago, and I mean, that's right up there as well, but they're probably three of my favourites. You miss that adrenaline rush of Celtic scoring a goal and winning a game maybe in the last minute, so, you know, I just can't wait to get back to it. This club was made for you and me.